as requested, I'm going to show you if you would like to connect your Monocaster Lite plus the USB condenser microphone on StreamYard. StreamYard, you can use it on your Facebook streaming or YouTube streaming or other streaming platform. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things, gadgets, uh, cords I will be using in this setup. So as you can see, this is the Mono Custer Lite. And this three devices here, I'll use this one here as the host and this one as a participant, the iPad. And this uh, Android phone here, I will use this as a source of my background music. And because I will be using a USB condenser microphone, I will be needing a portable uh, charger for that, for this to work and i will be using an earphone to monitor the audio and two of them so these are the trrs the one that has three lines on both ends normally this comes when you buy a uh, monocaster light and i will be using this one this is a trs uh, cord or cable the one that has two lines on both the ends and i will be using this uh, lightning audio adapter because i will be using an iphone that does not have uh, audio port or audio jack on it okay so now let's start the connections first let's connect the earphone so if your earphone does not have a built-in microphone on it something like this you can either connect it to headset or output but if it's a headset which means it has a built-in microphone and if you do not want to use that built-in microphone uh, you should connect it to here otherwise if you connect it to the headset it will pick up some voices also so anyway to be in a safe side connect it to the one that says output we will connect one trrs to here you just select output one two or three maybe let's use one and we will connect this one to this phone again this phone is the phone we will be using as our host okay so let's connect it there to connect your usb condenser microphone you need this trs and by the way only the usb condenser microphone that has this port the headphone port will work if it doesn't have something like this I do not know yet the adapter that uh, will work. So anyway, for now, the only the only USB condenser microphone that I know that it does work is something like this, the one that has a headphone port. So what you do is connect one end of this TRS to here, to the headphone port, and then connect the other end to the mic port of the monocaster light. So you just select mic one or two. So maybe let's select mic two. Okay, now for the cord, so this one. So what you do is, of course, like normal, you connect uh, this one here. Okay, connect it something like that. And then now we will need a power to power up your USB condenser microphone. And that is why you will need a portable charger. Now, if you don't have a portable charger, you can either connect this one to a laptop to power up your uh, USB condenser microphone. Also, you can connect uh, or you can you can plug this in to a block, the one that you use to charge your devices or phone. You can use that as well. So that's your other option. So again, for this video, I'm going to be using a portable charger. Okay, and you will notice as soon as I turn this portable charger, and then it gives the power to your USB condenser microphone. So it has power now. Okay, now to add a background music, it's up to you if you want to use uh, this, this cord, or you can also connect your background music to the Monocaster Lite wirelessly using Bluetooth. So let's say, for example, you want to use a cord, which is very simple. You just connect one end to, to here, to the one that says music input and the other end to the headphone port of this device so again this is the device we will use as a source of our background music there you go and now we're all set just to give you a heads up i am not yet expert on using a stream yard however i know the basics and my purpose of doing this video is for you to be able to know that of course you can connect your mono caster light on stream yard now, if this is your first time with this StreamYard, it's very simple to create an account. Just uh, search StreamYard.com and then you would have to enter your email address. And from there, they will email you a code and you have to enter that code and then you will have an account. 
and now I am just using a free version and just so you know the maximum guests that you can have are 10 but you can only bring up to your screen a maximum of six and a maximum of 20 hours a month now after you log on to your account and uh, this is what you will see you have the upcoming if you scheduled a broadcast later and then the past if you have uh, uh, recorded already uh, earlier or last then that's that's what it is and now if we are going to let's say create let's uh, select create let's say for example we will be doing a broadcast right now or streaming right now okay so from here we will select live stream now from here, create live stream, it will ask you to select a destination. So let's say you want to do live streaming on Facebook using StreamYard or YouTube using StreamYard or maybe um, Twitch or, or LinkedIn. To add is very simple, just click the plus uh, sign right there and then you will have this option. So you can add a, a Facebook page, a Facebook group or profile, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. After you've selected, just follow the prompt. It'll ask you to enter your login information and it should be added here as your destination. Just to give you a heads up, you can only do live streaming using this destination one at a time using the free version. But if you want to upgrade, uh, maybe a premium, then you can do live streaming in a multiple uh, live streaming platform. Okay, so now as you can see, I added a Facebook already and a YouTube streaming. Now let's uh, just select a Facebook streaming. Okay, there you go. Now let's add a title. Let's say, I'm just gonna say testing. And then description. Okay, something like that and then so from here you can schedule a broadcast you can do that and then you can create let's say a date when do you want to schedule a broadcast but if you do not want to do to do that let's say for example you want to uh, do live streaming now so we will not be doing that so let's let's uh, let's stop this one create broadcast and by the way let's uh, turn on now this monocaster light okay there you go Okay, so from here you just say allow to access uh, your microphone and camera. So from here you can either mute yourself and then you can also do not show yourself. So something like that. Now the avatar right there, it's up to you if you want to upload your picture or anything, you can do that. And for the settings right here, so audio, let's say for example you are using, uh, you are using a different uh, microphone feel free to um, select what microphone you wanted to use. So in here it says headset or iPhone microphone. I'll have to use a headset microphone because I will be using the microphone that would uh, be coming from this, uh, from this uh, monocaster, not the microphone from this uh, iPhone. So I'm gonna select headset microphone. There you go. Okay, and you can even uh, test it by talking to this microphone from here. Okay, sound check. Okay, maybe let's unmute first so we can see. Okay, so let's go from there. Now let's unmute first. Okay, let's go back to settings and audio. There you go. So sound check testing one, two. So this time I am using the headset microphone, which is this uh, condenser, USB condenser microphone connected to this monocaster light. Sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. The best audio settings here is just to make sure it doesn't uh, go all the time to the last, uh, the last uh, one over there because it's uh, probably peaking already. Okay, there you go. Sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. For some of the USB condenser microphone, it has volume control from the microphone itself. So it's up to you to adjust to whatever is your preferred um, volume. Okay, and uh, now, okay, let's go back. Let's go to uh, camera. So same here, if you want to use uh, the front or back camera, you have the options right there. And most likely we will be using only the front camera. So if you, if you want to turn it on, it looks like that and then turn it off. So you have those options. Now I'm just gonna use this Gina's uh, as my display name. Maybe let's turn on the camera. 
And now let's stop Enter Studio. Okay, there you go. And now let's add this device as our participant. So to, uh, to add a guest is very simple. So you tap the guest on here and then invite guest. So this is your link. Now you can send the link through Messenger or you can email them as well. Okay, so here I'm going to send it to, to this one right here and then paste it. And then, so that's gonna be the thing. There you go. Okay, so from here, I just sent uh, this uh, link and it's at uh, the bottom over there. Okay, so I'm gonna open it by tapping it or if it doesn't open, what you will do is you have to copy that and paste it, open Safari and paste it there. Now, to open the link that I sent to the other party, just hold it, so something like that, and then select Open Safari. Okay, there you go. Okay, so you would have to say allow from here. And now as a participant, they have to tap this one, enter studio. And there you go. So as you can see, it is now added over here as your participant. Okay, so now if you X out from here, you will have option if you want, as I mentioned earlier, you can bring up your participant on your streaming. So right now we did not uh, select go live yet on here. At this point, only you and the participant are doing your com conversation. Let's say for example, if you have, if you have five or 10 maximum of uh, participants or guests, then of course you can talk to each other without uh, being connected to a uh, Facebook or any uh, streaming platform. You can do that as well. You can do whatever you do, maybe a webinar, uh, something like that. Then this is gonna be your, your setup. But if you want to, let's say, connect yourself to a Facebook, then you can do that also later. Okay, so now from here, if you want to bring your, your, your guest on your streaming, okay, so just tap the guest right there, tap the guest icon and then add him or her. To your streaming and then go out from there and there you go so there are two of you on your streaming so you have it's you and then your participant over there so same whatever you see on here that's what uh, your participant will see also and let's say if you want to, to use some banners so let's say for example you are doing karaoke uh, then you can tap that one and then it will show up on your streaming karaoke time to add a banner is very simple you just tap the create banner and then and then you add, you say something, what you wanted to say for, for that to show up on here. Okay, so maybe let's uh, say, okay, let's say for example, introduce yourself. Okay, and then, and then you just have to add a banner and then it will show over there, introduce yourself. And now if you want to go back to the other banner, so say karaoke time, then it goes back there. So again, it's up to you if you want to use the banner, but again, it's, it's good. It can tell your participants or guests what you are doing next. If you're showing some tutorials, maybe, let's say you want to, to say step number one, and then you add that. Okay, so there you go. So this is, if you are doing some tutorial, then you say, this is step number one. And again, if you do not want to add some banner, just tap it again and it will be gone. Let's say you want to message each other, then you can select a comment and uh, just follow uh, whatever it says here. And now let's go live. I suggest before you go live, it's best not to show your guest yet. So what you will do is just tap the icon of your icon or the video of your guest and then just simply remove from stream and there you go so you're by yourself again and now if you do not want to show yourself first it's up to you and same thing just tap yourself and then remove from stream and there you go all, they're all black and if you have uh, something here let's say uh, as an introduction if you want to show a picture on here for the meantime before you officially or maybe a countdown before you start your streaming would be great Okay, now what, let's, uh, let's just say go live from here. Okay, so I am now going live on Facebook. Okay, there you go. So it's telling me that I am now on live. If I'm going to show myself, what I'll do is I'm going to tap guest and then I'm going to tap myself and then I'm going to say, I'm going to select add to stream. 
there you go so i am now on live right now so you will see the the viewers is zero that is because i set it to uh to just myself as a viewer okay anyway so let me put on my headset so i can monitor the audio okay there you go sound check testing one two i am just uh, going to turn on my monitor on here so i can hear myself there are some options on here as to your vocals. I do have a detailed uh, review on this one on how to use this mono caster light. I'll be adding a link on the description below. Now, let's say for example, you just want to set the low, mid and high at the middle, then uh, you're all good. And just remember all, all the time, whatever you're doing, recording or streaming, the record volume knob here is always on high. Otherwise, your streaming will not have audio. Okay, and now let's say for example, you want to bring up your guest. Okay, so what you will do, you just have to tap him as I showed you earlier, and then add that uh, guest on your streaming there you go so now this is your guest and this is you as a host and you have also the option to mute your guest so just tap uh, your guest uh, video on there and then you can tap mute say we unmuted that guest and you can also if you tap the guest right there and you tap him you can also you can also kick him out or the guest from your studio. Now, if you tap your guest icon or video on there, and if you want him or that guest to be in, in one video, like without you, you just select solo layout. Okay, and there you go. So that is now your guest. You can also do this one. Let's say, for example, you're doing your tutorial or something, and then you want to, to use that camera to point on something, then this is another option to do that. Okay, so now let's uh, tap it back again and let's say remove from stream. There you go. You're back as a host. But now, let's say, for example, you are doing a karaoke. Maybe let's turn on our banner, karaoke time, something like that. And you want to sing to your listeners. And, and if it happens that your guest has his own gadgets also to do, to do a karaoke, then for sure they can attach whatever gadgets they have, like something like this. If they have some sound cards also for them to share or to take turns on karaoke, then you can do that okay let me give you a short uh, sample okay so I'm gonna use this other device as uh, my source for background music okay so let's use this one here and uh, I'm going to add some reverberation or echo and now if you want to increase the volume of your background music you can control that from the device itself or from here so from the monocaster just uh, so it's right here the music you can turn it up or down here just locate the volume control something like that okay there you go as i mentioned earlier you have to set your microphone as the headset otherwise it will not pick up your voice with effects from the mono as well as if you're playing a background music it will not come out on your streaming and also since you are doing your streaming from a phone a loopback function doesn't matter it's also good if you test first how loud is your background music before you even start your streaming and since we already have a guest let's say you want to bring that guest on your streaming his or her video so just add him just tap his icon or video right there and select add to stream there you go so uh, as as i mentioned earlier so this is gonna be the host and this is our participant or guest let's say for example you are doing karaoke taking turns uh, karaoke on your streaming it's best if you mute first the other participant or guest and then if their turn to sing then you mute yourself and then unmute them okay let's do a short sample now okay so let's open the our background music from there since we will be singing it's best if we add some echo on here okay and it's up to you how much echo or reverberation you wanted to add Guess mine is not the first heartbroken. My eyes are not the first to cry. 
Okay, there you go. Anyway, that is gonna be your audio output if you are going to be using this type of a setup. That is a pretty much how to connect your monocaster light using this StreamYard connected to your Facebook or maybe a YouTube or any other uh, streaming uh, platform. Thanks again guys for watching. That is all I can share for uh, today. If you like this type of video, please uh, give it a like. And if you want more of this type of video, please uh, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be uh, posting. Keep safe and until next time.